We're talking West Granton, Lady Invaders basketball. Leo Trullo with us. And uh, well, let's talk about this season. Uh, hey, everybody kicking off this weekend. What are you excited about? Um, well, we had an inner squad scrimmage yesterday. And um, we were, uh, mixed up the teams, split them up equal. And uh, we were able to get a, a good feel. We brought some officials in. And uh, they, they were able to go over uh, some of the rules with the girls. And uh, I thought it was uh, a real... Uh, We've got a lot of progress out of that uh, practice, that scrimmage. So uh, I was very happy with that. What and type I, of team do you have this year? Let's talk a little bit about um, the style, what'd you say? Um, I, I'd say we're um, like a, a half-court team where uh, we have a nice center in uh, Raven Rosina and we like to post her up, and uh, we have a great point guard in Destiny Jefferson. Um, so in uh, power forward, we have Kayla O'Neill. Um, at the guard spots, we have uh, Tatum Repsius, who's a freshman, and uh, Nevea uh, Ross, who's a sophomore. So we're, we're a young team, but I think we're a balanced team. You talk about the leadership. Let's talk a little bit about what you're getting there to help influence these younger girls. Well, she, Destiny uh, brings back, uh, she, she'll probably hit her 1,000 point this uh, season. Uh, she brings a lot of experience. She was a starter for the last two seasons. Uh, Raven Rosina and Kayla O'Neill are also returning starters. So bringing three starters back gives us a good uh, a base for uh, this year. But you know, there's a lot of great teams in the area and uh, I believe that we're really gonna have to play at our best and progress every game in order to compete in our league. We always talk about the, the, the players and how they develop and, and what they work on in the off season. Uh, and I think we all self-evaluate. How about you self-evaluate and say, what could I do better as a coach with your coaching staff? Hey, what could we do do better to bring out the best in these girls? Well, in the summer, we play uh, down the Kingston uh, in the Kingston League. Um, some of, uh, we have three or four girls, more than three or four girls, to play uh, the AAU basketball. And um, those kind of things all... Uh, work in our benefit you know they could they're bringing their experience back to our team and you know go, they coincide with what we're trying to do and uh, it develops into something special the league this year let's talk about the the, wow. the challenges that you're going to have there and everybody kind of saying the same thing I think it's uh it seemed like what you're doing but the leagues are all tough they are I look on uh, the other side with uh, Riverside Dunmore and Holy Cross and and uh, Lakeland and those teams on that side, that, we play a lot of those teams. In the Valley, uh, we, we play a lot of those teams and um, that helps us for our league, which is also strong with Abington and Scranton Prep and Scranton and Valley View. And then you have to you have your crossover games with all the the other teams like Honesdale and Del Val. So uh, you know, there's never an off night in our league, is there? No, I don't think I don't think there will be. Uh, it's great to get basketball season underway, and uh, you know, we wish you the best of luck. We appreciate you coming in here to our Carol and Janelle. Oh, thank you. Talk of West Scranton Lady Invaders basketball, Destiny Jefferson with us today. And uh, Destiny, um, first up, let's talk about the college thing for you. Let's talk about the heading to Westchester. Yeah, it was a long process during the summer, but I felt like it was a really good decision by the end of it. Talk about the recruiting process and going through that, you know, what that was like and, and say, okay, I, I like this about this school, but this school has this. Yeah. Talk about that kind of weighing different things. Well, it was all the coaches, Coach Wooden and Coach Haas. They had a big impact on me during the summer. They came to all the games and I, I, they really appreciate me. They love my style of play and I love the school. It's beautiful out there and it's not too far from home. A lot of energy uh, from you out there yeah. on the court. <laughs> Let's talk about that energy and what you try to do as a player. Uh, I try to be an extension coach on the team as a point guard. I try to make plays for everyone and then create for myself. So Tulo believes in what I can do, so I just play. You got some great athleticism to you. Talk about the, you know, some different shots you might make that people might say, "Hey, look at that!" <laughs> yeah, uh, Phil Holder, my AAU coach, taught me all the moves, and I just worked hard on them all summer so I can do good. Nice when you have some players that you can lean on and. Uh, like you got a couple tallies over here next yeah. to you. Uh, talk about your tall, big yeah. players this year. Kilo O'Neill is a good floor guard. She knows how to shoot the ball well. Raven Rosina, okay, great big. She you know she does a lot of stuff for us. Um, Nevaeh Ross is another guard who plays really good for us. She knows how to handle the pressure. 
And we have a whole bunch of new guards, uh, freshmen. We just came up, six freshmen I think we got, and they do a lot for us. You first started playing the game of basketball, did you say, hey, it's something I really like, but you know, a lot of turns and, and different things that people go through. Did you ever think, hey, I, I'm going to do this thing in college, and now you're actually going to do it next year? Yeah, I didn't think I would be able to play in college my freshman year, but all summer I worked at it. Phil helped me a lot. Chulo pushed me a lot, so I got the offer, and I'm really excited to go there next year. PSAC, very, very competitive. Should be great for you. Let's talk about what you expect this season with this team. What, what are you thinking that this team could do? Uh, I think we're going to be a really fast team. We're really young and we have a lot of guards that can do a lot of things. Raven's going to do good for us this year. I think we're going to be a good team. I don't think anyone can really handle us this year. Well, we wish you well. Let's talk about that track and field that you're involved with <laughs> yeah. at West Granton. How about some of the events that you do? I run the 100, I run the 200, I'm in a 4 by one team, and I throw shot put. Shot put, I was actually district champ in 8th grade. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> awesome. And uh, as far as your, your quicks, let's talk a little bit about the legs and the 100. Oh, yeah. Uh, I came in third in district's freshman year for the 100, so that was a good thing for me. But I got hurt the following year, so I didn't do it for the next two. Well, yeah. we'll be coming back in 2016, yeah. 2017 it's going to be. Hoping to go for states. All right. Well, we wish you well in that. And, uh, of course, uh, that West Granted pride uh, is always good. Talk about that, that camaraderie you have at school with everybody. I love school. I bleed blue. I'm a West Side person. I'm happy to be there. Chulo, put the ball in my hand. And we're ready to win this year. All right, tremendous amount of pride at West Granton. We appreciate you coming to Art Carroll and Janelle. Thank you for having me. We're talking West Granton Lady Invaders basketball. Raven Rosina with us right now. And uh, Raven, uh, boy, it's nice when you have a, a great guard uh, that you have. And uh, Miss Jefferson over there, uh, uh, talk about what it's like to play with her and, and that experience. She actually, like, she's really good. And she, like, she, like, sets me up where, like, I can score. She also sets everybody else up. And she also, like, does things where she can, like, score off of it as well. So, she's a really good post player. We got to see you play last year. You're a tough player out there. <laughs> and, of course, uh, you know, you play with a lot of passion. Talk uh, talk what it's like when you're out there on the court. I mean, you, you try to play as physically as you can. When I'm in the post, all I think about is just to get the ball and score. I don't really like think about much. I just think score, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And to get up and down the floor, of course, to get back, and not to foul. I do foul a lot, and I have to take that into consideration and to do less of that. But yeah. How about to be a West Scranton Invader. Tell us a little about that experience for you. Well, my mom and like my family, like we like we've been here. It's just kind of like home to us. So like being a part of that and being a part of like where like my mom used to go, it's just it means everything to me. I love being a part of the West Grand family. Not only do you play basketball, you've been involved. You played a little bit of tennis, track and yeah. field. So you try to experiment with a couple of different sports. And is basketball your favorite? Basketball is my favorite. I'm I do it pretty much all year. I play basketball during school, and then the summer I um I'm on. Uh, Keystone Karma AAU with Phil Odom and like I've done you know, in my career I've done a little bit of tennis and um, track not much though <laughs> talk about the, some of the competition in the league that you're looking to face this year there's going to be a lot of different teams and it changed a little bit you know 6A, 5A, 4A we, <laughs> we spread it around a little bit so there'll be a lot of different teams you'll play this year yeah there is I'm just I'm really confident with my team so I think we'll do good and Talk really about your biggest fans. Uh, I know your mom's been through some challenges. Take us through uh, what that's been like for you, some ups um, and downs. Well, very. It, it's been a very bumpy road. It kind of set me back a lot and, like, you know, took my mind off of basketball, which, like, it's bad. But I'm getting back and I'm hustling back and I'm coming back. Like, she like she wanted me to continue basketball. Like, she loved when I came home with trophies and how, like, I'm just, I just, I, I, I'd always go to her and talk about basketball and, like, how my games were and how practices were, and, like, she just always told me, like, Raven, like, you have to, like, that's your main sport, like, you need to go somewhere with it, and that's what I'm going to do, and now that she's with me, not physically, but mentally, that's 
that's what my goal is. And of course, I'm sure this West Granton family has, has helped a little bit with everything as well. They actually did a lot with like the whole situation. I had to leave the game early because my mom was being rushed down to Danville. So I had to leave the game early. They all like, gave me a hug and stuff. And they just, they knew everything. Like they were a part of it. They knew exactly. And when my mom did finally did pass, um, they were there completely, 100%, and they just, that's the only one I can really lean on right now. Well, Raven, we appreciate you joining us and telling us your personal story that you had uh, with your mom, and we wish you the very best this season. Thank you. We're talking West Granton Lady Invaders basketball. Kayla O'Neill with us now, and uh, Kayla, let's talk about uh, your excitement for this season. It's here. It's ready to go. I'm so excited. It's my last year, too. I'm just really happy excited for this year. I think we're really going to go far with the girls we have this year. What's it like playing next to, to Raven? She's a presence down there. She is the best post I ever played with. She's so big, she takes up all the space. She finishes all the time. I, I love playing with her. She's a tough player. Intimidating and uh, she, she'll go after balls. I mean, she, just uh, it's you kind of feel sorry for the other team sometimes. Even in practice, she comes after me, I'm I'm scared. I, don't, <laughs> I get out of her way. <laughs> You talk over all the outlook for this season uh, with West Grant to tell us about what, what you're thinking. I actually think we're going to go pretty far. We have a lot of young kids, but our starting five with Nevea Ross shooting. We got Nadia Brown really quick on her feet. We still we got Destiny, best point guard, and we still got Raven. Raven takes up a lot of space down the line. Let's talk about your talent. What, what do you do? Your coach, they say, hey, Go get me five rebounds. Hey, give me a couple good passes. Play some tough defense. Tell us about your role. Um, defense is probably my best. Offense, not very well, but defense I always make up for. Rebounds, block shots, everything. But the fun and the camaraderie, and I talked with the other girls a little bit about being a West Sider. I mean, it's a it's a special thing, and uh, everybody seems to have tremendous pride when you go to West Grant. Of course, you have to. It's the best to you really do a fantastic job in the classroom. Let's talk about uh, getting the job done there at West Granton. High honors. I have to try. I'm trying to go to college, be a doctor. Got to get those high grades. <laughs> talk about your family pushing you, knowing when to pull back. I'm sure there's a, a little bit of a balance, but to take us through that. Oh, my dad's been with me for a while, always pushing me for where I am now. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. Even my mom pushing me. My sisters are now falling in my footsteps and trying. Coach Trullo, let's talk a little bit about his style and the coaching staff and what they're trying to do with this year's team. Um, we're trying very hard. we got a very young team. We're trying to put everyone in at the same time. Shooting, we're pretty fast too. Well, we wish you the best. And you got some big time schools you're trying to go to, right? Yeah, right. So uh, we wish well. What's the what's the top choice you're trying to get to? Um, George Mason, definitely. All right. Well, I'm sure wherever you go, you're going to be an asset for that school. Thank you. We wish you the best in your dreams of being a pediatrician. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, West Scranton Lady Invaders basketball here at Art Carroll and Janelle.